Okay, in this video I want to talk about version control. And version control is not really a PHP thing, it's a coding thing. It doesn't really matter what programming language you're working with, you're going to want to be able to keep track of the changes every time you make a change to your code. So this is important because right now we just have a very simple program, right? One line of code basically. But as time goes on, we start writing more and more, more lines of code, things can get messed up, we make a mistake somewhere, and all of a sudden weeks of work go right out the, out the window, unless you have version control. If you make a mistake while using version control, you can just roll back to the last version where there wasn't a mistake and start over, which is just very, very valuable. It's just a best practice for programming. So there's several different ways to keep track of your changes to your code automatically. And the most popular is definitely Git. And Git is just an open source version control that comes with Linux operating systems and web servers and whatnot. And you may be familiar with GitHub. GitHub is just a big social network where programmers post their code, right? And what happens is whenever you're working on your program, on your app, you save your changes with Git, and then every once in a while you just push your code up to GitHub. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. It's very easy, very quick, very simple. And uh, GitHub will keep track of it all, right? So this is very, very important for every, every programmer should have a GitHub account. Now, there's another service called Bitbucket, and it's just like GitHub, not quite as popular. But the thing about it is, all the code on GitHub that you send is public, meaning anybody can see it. So if you're working on a project for a company and you're getting paid for it, you probably don't want to use GitHub because anybody else like their competitors can see your code and that's not a good idea. Now GitHub does have what's called private repositories but you have to pay for that. Bitbucket on the other hand gives you free private repositories. So if you want to keep your stuff private use Bitbucket. If you don't care if you're doing open source stuff or just personal projects, use GitHub. If you're trying to find a job, right, a lot of times employers will want to look at your GitHub account because they're, they're going to want to see the code you've done in the past. So it's sort of important to have a GitHub account. But either way, those are your two options. They act almost identical in how they process things and how they store code and all that stuff. So we're going to use GitHub for this course just because I think it's a good idea to have all of our code public. So you can see exactly what I'm doing. You can come back later and check things if you want or whatever. So if you don't have a GitHub account, go ahead and sign up for one. You just fill out the thing here. If you do already have one, go ahead and sign in. And I'm trying to remember my account. I don't use GitHub all that often. Okay, here we go. So when you log in, this is the screen you're gonna see. And like I said earlier, GitHub uses things called repositories. And every time you set up a new project, you'll need to set up a new repository and that will hold, hold all of your code. So you can see some other little projects I've been tinkering with. You can look through those if you want. They're not PHP, but whatever. So before we set up GitHub, we need to set up Git. Git is the thing that tracks all your changes right here in your C9 cloud environment. So we can actually come down here to the terminal and type git dash dash version just to make sure that this system has git installed already. And you can see they're running git version 1.9.1, .1, so everything is good there. So what we need to do is configure git. So we can see right now we're in the home Ubuntu workspace directory. And that directory has our readme file, our index.php, and our php.ini file. And those are the files that correspond over here. So we're in the right directory, which is good. So let's go ahead and set up git. To do that, we need to type in a few commands. First, type git config, and then dash dash global space user dot name quotation marks and then type in your name and hit enter. That's telling Git that it needs to track all the code and assign it to you, your name. Next, we git config dash dash global user dot email and then type in your email address. Again, this is for tracking purposes. Okay, then git config dash dash global 
space push dot default oops matching almost done whoops did I misspell something yep I misspelled global okay so let's try that again Go back here and global okay and then finally well two more we've got git config dash dash global alias dot co checkout and one more git init i n i t uh, that's telling the computer to start running git we've configured it now we're going to turn it on and you see it's initialized an empty git repository right here in that same directory that we're currently in now if we hit ls-la we can see here is the git repository right there otherwise it's hidden because it, it, it doesn't show up in our list of files right here but that's normal and you can look in this directory if you want but there's nothing in there that's gonna make any sense to you or and there's nothing really that you need to see so now git is running on our development environment and it will continue to run forever so there aren't actually any files in there none of these files that we've worked on so far have been saved yet so we need to save all of these things for the first time and to do that we type in the command git add period and make sure to put a space between each of those things so basically it's added all of these files into our local git repository now we need to commit these files first the add command staged them now we need to commit them right so to do that we do git commit am and then put a little message here i'm going to call it initial commit now anytime we save our files from now on, we'll use this command and I'll show you later on, you'll get used to using it, git commit am and then every time you make a commit, you wanna put a little message here summing up what you've done in the code. So if you worked on the index.php page in great detail, you might type something like worked on index.php or whatever uh, and you'll see as we go along, this will make more sense. So hit enter and you can see it's saved three files. We've got boom, 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 three files and we're good to go. So this is all on the local side. Now it's time to add our GitHub account to the mix. So what we need to do here is come back to GitHub, log in and then click this new repository button. And I'm gonna call this PHP course. Whatever. <laughs> you can see it's public. Anybody can see this. If, if you want to do private, it costs $7 a month. So we're going to keep this public and create repository. Okay, so we got some instructions here, right? And this is what we need to do to push this, push our code up to GitHub. We need to type these two commands into our terminal here. But before we do that, we need to connect our terminal to our GitHub account. So to do that, let's come back here and clear this. First, we need to create a, an SSH key, a security key, to keep our transmission between the development environment and our GitHub account secure. So to do that, we type in cat a tilde dot SSH ID underscore RSA dot hub. And what's that, what that's done is created an SSH hash code thing. So I'm gonna highlight all of this, right click and click copy, all right? Then I'm gonna go back to my GitHub account and be sure to keep this page up because we need to copy and paste these two lines later on. But in the meantime, I'm gonna right click here and open a new window. So this is my GitHub account. And if we look around here, we see settings and SSH keys. Click on here, click this add SSH key button. And I'm going to call this PHP course. And I'm just going to paste in all that gobbledygook that we just copied from right here and click add key. Okay, so now this key has been added. Here it is right here, which means now we can connect our C9 account with our GitHub account. And to do that, just a couple of quick commands. Type in SSH, capital T, git 
at github.com. And you're going to get an error message saying the authenticity of the host can't be established, blah, blah, blah. That's normal. Click yes. Or type in yes. And now it says permanently added GitHub to the list of known hosts, High Flat Planet. See, we've logged in here. You've successfully authenticated. It's authenticated because we just added our SSH key. So this key that we just added, we just now logged into GitHub and GitHub said, I need to see this key. It looked, it saw the key that, that we had that key and we're good to go. Some people, it may ask you to type in your password. Just type in your GitHub password if it asks you to do that. So now we've connected. What we need to do now is enter these two commands, right? So I'm just gonna highlight them. And I know this seems really complicated, but it's not that difficult once you do it once or twice. Copy, paste. I use control C and control V, but you can right click also. So git remote at origin git at GitHub. And it's just straight up copy paste. And finally, the very last command, copy this, paste it, git push u origin master. Yes. Okay. So what just happened was we just pushed all of our code that's sitting here up to GitHub. And we can make sure that's true by navigating back to our GitHub profile, finding the repository that we created earlier, in our case, PHP course, clicking on it, and boom, you can see here's our index.php file, which looks exactly like this one. Here's that PHP any file. That's right here. Here's that readme file. Look familiar. We come back here and click readme. There it is. And so now our code is sitting on GitHub. So from now on, every time we want to save our work and push it up to GitHub, we'll need to type in just a couple of quick commands. So let's go ahead and create another file here, just really quick. Uh, new file. Let's call it about.php. And let's open this. And php echo this is our about page. Save it. So this is a significant change. Let's go ahead and save this. So what we do is enter these three commands. First, git add period. And what that does is just, it just adds everything in here to our local repository. Now let's go ahead and commit the code, git commit am added an about dot, dot php page okay and then finally git push and what that does is push all of our code so we can go back here hit reload and boom see now this about dot php page has been added and you can see here's the the commit message we just typed in added an about.php page. Remember the first time we committed, we typed in initial commit. This time we typed in added an about page. And that's how we can sort of keep track of things at a glance, right? So that's all for this video. And the next video, we're going to talk very quickly about Heroku, pushing our code up to Heroku. And then after that, we'll get into the actual PHP work.